In the video game Injustice, Gods Among Us, in which Superman pretty much takes over the world and it's up to Batman to bring him down, we learn that during this five year long fight between the Kryptonian and the Dark Knight, that Dick Grayson was killed by Damian Wayne, though we don't learn how it happened. He took you in, trained you. Sure he can be an uptight jerk, but you abandon him for Superman? I'm not Dick Grayson. This is Damian Wayne. Wayne? His son. But Superman's been more of a father than you ever were. You stopped being my son when you killed Dick Grayson. He was my son. First of all, let me explain who Dick Grayson and Damian Wayne are. Dick Grayson was a member of the Flying Grayson Circus Act with his family, but when his family refused to pay protection money to the mob, they were killed by the mob. Bruce Wayne took pity on Dick and adopted him as his own son, which led to Dick learning Bruce Wayne was Batman. Under the circumstances, it was only a matter of time before you learned my secret. Okay, let's talk about what you saw. You were the Batman, the Dark Knight, the world's greatest detective. That's you! and he eventually teamed up with Batman to bring his family's killers to justice and joined Batman as Robin from then on. Then, as he grew up and became his own man, he decided to become Nightwing instead and be an independent hero. Who's that other one? The pretty boy in the leotard. That's Nightwing. He was the Bat's first sidekick. The first Robin. Damian Wayne is Bruce Wayne's biological son, conceived without Bruce Wayne's knowledge after a night of passion with Talia al Ghul. Would you like a drink? Last time that didn't go so well. Oh, you're right. If I remember correctly, I put a little something in your beverage. Same way I remember it. It made you romantic. It made me do what you wanted. Damien grew up initially with Talia and his grandfather Ra's al Ghul, who instructed him in combat since the day he was born and were training him to be the leader of the League of Shadows and the entire world. This led to him being a great fighter but having very little morals, empathy and a general bad attitude. Basically, he's kind of a dick to everyone. Robin, report. How's crowd control? <laughs> Well in hand, Father, as predicted, they respond like contemptible sheep. Damien and Dick Grayson were, for the most part, friends, if begrudgingly friends. Teammates are a liability. Really? Then what am I to you? An unavoidable irritation. They would regularly train together, with Dick trying to instruct Damien in how to be a better Robin, because Damien believes that killing criminals is more effective than putting them in prison or in Arkham Asylum. It's easier my way. It has nothing to do with easy. It's about doing what's right because it's right and that's the only reason you need. Seemed right to me. That's the problem. So, when Superman decided to start executing criminals to stop them from hurting anyone again, Damien was all for it. And when Superman went to Arkham Asylum to take all of the inmates to a more secure and undisclosed location, Damien sided with Superman, whereas Nightwing and Batman tried to stop Superman. During the inevitable fight between the respective sides of Superman and Batman, the inmates escape from the asylum and the superheroes have to put their own fight on hold to recapture all of the inmates. During this fight, Damien is losing his temper after being grabbed by Solomon Grundy and then saved by Superman and Nightwing. Damien has a terrible temper and can't stand to look weak in front of anybody and he already feels like he's always in Nightwing's shadow. Ah! You really are a massive eagle, aren't you? The pure and perfect Dick Grayson. The first Robin. Ugh. So all of this is just making him angrier and angrier. And as Damien is losing his temper and yelling about the inmates all deserving to die rather than be rehabilitated, and Nightwing is telling him to calm down and act like a superhero, Damien loses his temper completely and attacks Nightwing by throwing one of his sticks at him. Bearing in mind that these are used to fight criminals and are as strong as steel, so when it hits Nightwing in the back of the head, it knocks him out and he falls to the floor, hitting his head hard and dying instantly. Damien is shot by Nightwing's death and says that it was an accident and that he thought Nightwing would dodge the attack because when they're in practice, Damien always throws his sticks at Nightwing's head when he loses his temper and Nightwing always dodges them. But this time Nightwing's attention was on the fight and the supervillains and not on making sure his stepbrother doesn't lose his temper and attack him. 
Batman is devastated by the loss of his adopted son, and he feels just like he did when he lost his parents as a child, like he's completely alone in the world. Where are you taking us? We can cut through here. But it's starting to rain. Bruce is tired. Can't we just wait for him here? Come on, keep up. We're nearly there. Hold it there, baby. Oh, God. Please, there's no need for this. Stay where you are. I'll shoot. I'll give you whatever you want. Batman blames Damian Wayne for killing Dick Grayson and he doesn't even seem to hear when Damian says that it was an accident. And that is how Nightwing, Dick Grayson, died. And I gotta say, I'm kind of with Batman here. Damian did resent Dick Grayson and when you throw a rod of metal at someone's head intentionally, you can't say that it was an accident just because you expected them to dodge it. But what do you think? Was this an accident? Is it Damian Wayne's fault? Let us know in the comments, and as always, feel free to subscribe, share, like, and comment. Oh. You're dead to me.